Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is the second game, the replayed second game, because we had a problem with one of the players leaving, but we're back on track right now. So it's one nothing Red King and Maynard up in the score. So if they win this game, they'll take the whole championship for them. But Jonas Nee and MCM are not going to let that happen, so let's take a look at MCM's army of Rakshalani. So it's four armored horse archers. Already moving to the front, and then there's three shock cavalry units. We got the Sarmatian Royal Lancers, then three more on the other side, so that's six Sarmatian Royal Lancers, and then the melee cap Sarmatian Horsemen, three of them in the back. Let's take a look at the Roman army. So we got four auxiliary Syrian archers at the front, then we have the Swords Legionary Cohort, apparently it's six of them, then six Principes, I believe, yep, and then Hastati. Three Hastati and then the general. Almost a pre Marian army, you would think. You're only missing the three Arii. Nice army there by uh, by Jonas Nee. Let's take a look now at the Royal Scythian army of Minot. So we have Royal Horse Archers, four of them. They're already moving forward. The cavalry, Step Noble Lancers, two of them on the right, three of them on the left. So that's five shot cavalry. And then the Scythian Royal Horse, five swords five melee cavalry and then let's take a look at the carthaginian army of redskins so we got five it is five five mercenary balearic slingers then the main infantry light late libyan hoplite six of them and all the way to the left just a regular libyan hoplite a support mercenary noble fighters five of them that's the the sword infantry component and an african war elephant the heavy skill mission begins and going into Testudo, this is a pretty good move by Jonas. This is a classical Rome Total War tactic. <laughs> Just going into Testudo and soaking up all the missiles. Although Testudo is not as effective in this game as it was in Rome Total War. Like, units still take pretty decent missile damage. In Rome Total War, they were, like, invulnerable to missiles. But anyways, this is not Rome Total War. But definitely a good move. Definitely a good move by Jonas Nee. Bringing the, the all-day tactics. All right, so the host archers, uh, MCM being more aggressive with them, forcing uh, forcing Timinut to go back, to withdraw back to his line. And now he's definitely getting some good shots. He just has to retreat on time to make sure the slingers don't get the best of their host archers because they'll definitely go down pretty easily. Host archers are uh, they're very mobile, very good, but with the with Contabra and Circle gone from Rome Total War, for example, uh, they're very very vulnerable to enemy missiles so you do have to keep a very close eye on them the syrian archers for uh, jonas knee definitely with the huge range they have they'll they're probably they should get an upper hand on this in this fight they're shooting at the they are shooting at the, at the slingers getting some nash casualties and apparently he's gonna no mcn just fake charge there trying to draw out minutes cavalry just the skirmish going on a lot of skirmish and this unit is now down to 52 men <laughs> look at this horse archers really doing a lot of damage to this unit a lot of damage 49 men left 47 men jesus they're really really strong now this horse archers really really strong and jonas the as i said they're still taking casualties a couple casualties but obviously the testudo formation is going to be so much more effective against missiles very nice move, very nice move, very creative. I I liked it. Riders, advance! Alright, so we're just skirmishing right now. We keep a... Uh, we're still in the skirmish phase. And a lot of volleys, that's a lot of arrows. They killed three... Managed to kill three Step Noble Lancers. And apparently they uh yeah minute minute's looking to start the fight here on the right flank here he comes he's gonna get counter charged so here he comes mcm does get the the trample in and oh my god only three units get the trample and only one unit for minute got the trample so this fight should probably go to mcm who managed to get the trample and now all the units are gonna swing to this side they're just 
Swing in the infantry, the cavalry charges and counter charges. Here comes the infantry support. He's going to support with swords because he didn't really, doesn't really have spears to support. But this fight, I mean, from the initial charge, it should go to MCM. And there it is. The minutes units are starting to, to rout. And the general gets caught here. It's, uh, it's the elephant and all those missiles, fire missiles going at the African war elephants. If he manages to make them run amok here, that would be very good for them because they would trample their own units. If he gets to his own line, then that's what he could be in trouble. But making them run amok right now would be the best thing that could happen to, to Jonas Nee. So he's focusing all his fire on those ones. But no... The elephants don't run amok and they're gonna come into the cavalry fight and they're just gonna trample everything. They do have trample on. Yeah. No, it's not trample. It's race banner. Then there's the rally ability to boost morale. They didn't trample though. Uh, but then he comes the infantry, the Roman infantry as well, Principes. Here come the, the swords and the spears. And now Royal Scythia is turning this around. So from the initial great charge that MCN got, now it's being turned around. And Minute is just raping the cavalry from MCM. Two units already wavering and three units wavering for MCM. I don't think he's going to be able to hold this. The elephants wrecking havoc and then more cavalry fight on the right. This one might go to MCM. He's got the numbers. He's got the flanking. And there's no infantry support anywhere near. So this fight should probably go to him because he can just support with this horse arches. But I don't think if he doesn't hurry, it's not even going to matter because this flank is going to collapse badly as for the infantry obviously roman infantry superior no no uh, phalanx for redskin so so you know his swords are gonna have a tough time facing roman infantry especially those legionary cohorts this has study obviously the weakest part of the uh, the roman infantry going down and pretty much all the cavalry is gone this unit is about to die this managed to get out, and they do manage to get out. He managed to save two of these Armation Royal Lancers and get them out. There are 20 men left, but they're alive. They can they can fight another time. The fight on the right, yeah, like I said, this is definitely going to go for M for MCM. This is not a uh, not even close. I mean, it is just completely overrun there. The fight on the left, uh, Mena did win it. But uh, now it's a matter of Carthage infantry holding it and Redskin being very slow again with the infantry. He needs to get ahead with this infantry, he needs to move up. Sarika CY, thank you for the follow. So they, they need to, they, he really needs to move the infantry up. He needs to get around these units and come support all his infantry. Because now. Yeah, this is what happens now. MCM's cavalry, now that they won this flank, is coming back. And they're just going to start doing hammer and anvil strikes, picking up isolated units, destroying the missiles, which is a lot of missiles. That's five Valeric Slingers. That's a lot of gold of Denari that went into those units. So you just, you just don't want to throw them away. And they still got plenty of missiles, I'm sure. So Carthaginian infantry getting terrible engagements. Look at this. Completely turned. They're not even facing the enemy. Here comes one of the charges. I don't know if Carthage can hold this. I really don't know. It's going to be up to Minot to get some good charges and and try to save this infantry line because otherwise I I just don't see Carthage holding this. It's going to be very very hard for them to hold this. Here come the Royal Horse. This is a horse archer unit, but no, it completely collapsed. Completely completely collapsed. Carthaginian is our dead. Kawanek, thank you for the follow. Yeah, they're pretty much gone. I, I think this is game. Because Carthage just got completely overrun. Yeah, there's a GG for Jonas. Well, Jonas needs Rome. But, um... But, yeah. They turn it around. Minute, the cav his cavalry can't do anything more. So that's going to be it. That's going to be it. So that's the game for Jonas Nee and MCM. They tie it up. So it's one to one. And then... Um, so this is it. We're going for the best of three. We're going to the to the tiebreaker. Which is going to be uh, just the same format. 
Whoever wins the next battle will take the championship. So don't go anywhere, guys. We're about to get into the last battle of the Beta Flash Tournament number 74. Be right back. <laughs> 